What's going on YouTube gamers? Bonfire here bringing you The Five Spot, where we take a look at the week that wasn't gaming and bring you the top five news and announcements. And this week, we finally got the release of the Xbox One that completes Next Gen, and boy did it come with its pros and cons. More on that later, but first, the news you care about. Starting at number 5, Sony announced a PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita bundle to be released in the UK. No word on price, and also no word on whether this console bundle will be released in the US and other markets. I anticipate the price point to be around $500 as it's a good midpoint between the two. Hopefully, Sony doesn't pull a Nintendo and exclude all their markets from these awesome, awesome bundles. Next, at number 4, early adopters of the Xbox One are experiencing both hardware and software problems. On the hardware side of things, the disk drive isn't playing games and makes a grinding sound when games are inserted, though not damaging the disks. On the software side of things, the operating system and dashboard seem to crash and constantly need rebooting, and some users are experiencing problems in the party chat. Microsoft said this is affecting only a small number of Xbox One owners and they're working diligently to correct the problem. Even IGN experienced one of their Xbox Ones not reading discs, as well as one of my good friends, WackMed19. This parallels the PlayStation 4 as they also experience problems of their own. And what else can you expect from such large hardware launches? So much for that Xbox One fanboy who said they're going to have a perfect launch. Next, at number 3, the Xbox One will not feature live streaming directly from the console. However, they will offer a Twitch app that you can download and watch live streams, as well as comment in the chat and earn achievements. And this has left the internet and gaming community raving about not being able to live stream from your Xbox One. But really, th this isn't an issue. You can use your capture card to live stream just like you could with the Xbox 360. So really, what's all the fuss about? Seriously, it's not an issue. Man. Next at number two, the Xbox One game reviews are finally out, and boy, did they not deliver. Similar to the PlayStation 4, just didn't get all that great reviews. However, slightly better. The game reviews are as follows. What happened with Rise? I mean, a lot of promise, but failed to deliver. Last, but certainly not least, at number one, the Xbox One has sold 1 million units worldwide within 24 hours. This parallels the PlayStation 4 as they have also sold 1 million units within 24 hours in the US. It would seem that both consoles are neck and neck in terms of sales, but wait a second. PlayStation 4 hasn't released in other markets other than the US. So that means they should probably have some more sales, right? Guess only time will tell. And there you guys have it. The top five in the week that wasn't gaming. Let me know what you guys think about these announcements in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know with a like. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe and stay informed on the five spot. Until next time, I'm Bonfire and I will see you online. Hey guys, don't forget Facebook and Twitter. Hit that button down below.